Well, welcome again to another podcast, Down to Earth, but Heavenly Minded. And I'm your host, Irv Rich. And today we're going to be looking at another story. And this time it's only one word. Forgiven with a question mark. And with that said, I am going to uh, just get into our story. Well, uh, let's see. What, I'm trying to remember what his name was. It was uh, Brownlow. Brownlow North uh, lived for many years as an irresponsible and thoughtless aristocrat. You know, later in life, he and a friend were staying at a hunting lodge in Scotland. Their day's sport was usually followed by an evening of drinking. And on one of these uh, binges, his friend just all of a sudden dropped dead. This tragedy was God's message to Brawlo North. Well, the awful thought gripped him as if he had been me instant uh, instead of my friend. Well, you know, things that happen in our life sometimes really get us to thinking. You know, he says, I should have been damned. He, that's what he figured. If he would have died right at that very moment, he would have been damned for all eternity. He began to think seriously about his soul. An earnest Christian lady led him to Christ and into a full light of the gospel. No sooner did he feel himself to be a changed man than he began trying to bring others to Christ. Kind of sounds like the Apostle Paul on the road to uh, Damascus. Well, one day, as he entered the building where he was uh, to preach, he was handed a note that carried this warning. Uh, Brownlow North, you miserable hypocrite. Do you remember what took place at such and such a date? And, you know, the, the letter goes on and it accuses him of things that he had done in his life past. And it brings out three incidences and in where he was just just awful. And he was called a hypocrite, which, you know, people would think that, uh, you know, hypocrisy, you know, when somebody comes to know the Lord and they look back at their past life, they think, who are you to be saved? You know, I was kind of looked at that way when I came to know the Lord. I wrote a letter to my sister and, uh, you know, the life she knew I led uh, she says, how in the world can you, you know, turn over a new leaf like that? You're just, you know, how could you be forgiven? Well, complete details of what did happen were given. And then the letter concluded, now, you wretched hypocrite, you know that every word in this letter is true. Will you, after reading it, dare to go in the pulpit and rant and rave and preach what you call the gospel. Well, Mr. North, uh, he felt the force of the letter deeply. But he put it into his pocket, and when it was time for him, he came uh, up to speak. He read the Bible verse. This is a faithful saying and worthy of acceptance that Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners. And then he paused, and then with deep feeling, he finished reading the verse of whom I am chief. First Timothy 1.15. You know, these, this was Paul's words. But uh, Mr. Brown, or uh, I'm sorry, uh, Mr. North was uh, applying it to his life. My friends, he said, when I entered this building tonight, a letter was put in my hand. I do not know who the writer may be, but he is evidently one who knows a great deal about my past. 
This letter reflected two, three, or uh, reflected uh, three distinct occasions in which it charged me with uh, practicing uh, depravity behavior. I won't pollute your ears by quoting the details of the letter. Uh, the writer concluded by saying, Now, you wretched hypocrite, you know that every word of this letter is true. Will you, after reading it, dare to go in the pulpit and rant and rave and preach what you call the gospel? There are three things that I have to say about this letter. First, it is all true. Would to God that I could undo the past, but that's not possible even for God himself. God knows it's true, and I confess with sorrow and shame that it's true. The second thing I have to say is that it all it's all forgiven. God knows it's forgiven, and I know that it's forgiven. The third thing I have to say is that God, for Jesus Christ's sake, can forgive the sins of a sinner like Brownlow North. There is not a sinner in this world too great that God to forgive him and all his sins. Your sins may be many. Not, It may not be as glaring as Norse, but you can be forgiven freely by the same pardon God. If you come to him, in true repentance, he'll forgive you. If you die unforgiven, you will experience the blackness of darkness forever. God in mercy wants you for himself. Being justified freely by his grace through the redemption that is in Christ Jesus, whom God has sent forth as a propitiation and atoning sacrifice is what it means, through faith in his blood, to declare his righteousness that he might be just and the justifier of him which believes in Jesus. Romans 3, 24 and 26. The blood of Jesus Christ, his son, cleanses us from all sin. 1 John 7. Well, we all know that God is out here and he's in the Bible. Pick it up and read it. That's what we did today. And God, it wants to speak to you. This is his love letter to you. With that, I'm just going to close.